We started working on this program about two years ago, and uh, so in order to come up with the best solution for isolation of exosomes, we evaluated pretty much all technologies available on the market from, uh, from the companies, as well as there were a number of technologies that seemed to be appropriate uh, for, this kind of, uh, for, for this kind of project. So we evaluated a number of filtration devices, uh, affinity-based uh, columns, including antibodies, lectins, uh, many polymers of different kinds. And uh, so about one year later, we evaluated all the results, and uh, so we identified one reagent as the absolute winner for isolation of exosomes from a wide range of samples, uh, including cell culture media, serum, plasma, urine, and others. So this, uh, this reagent became the key component of total exosome isolation kits. Uh, we filed patent application to protect this formula, and uh, the way we think it works is uh, by tying the water molecules and forcing uh, larger vesicles uh, out of solution. So after quick incubation of total exosome isolation reagent with the body fluid, all exosomes are collected at the bottom and they can be recovered using the short centrifugation step. Uh, I wanted to emphasize that exosomes are fully intact at the end and they can be used either for endpoint analysis or uh, because they're fully uh, intact, they can be actually utilized for in vivo studies to understand their pathways and networks in living cells and mice. Thank you.